What up? What up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod. We are back at it again with episode 76. 76, took two weeks off. Had to take a break again. We are so sorry. But we were um, a the studio review. was getting some carpet done. Maintenance. Maintenance. Revamp. A maintenance, some maintenance going on. So the carpet. <clears throat> yeah. So we couldn't, we couldn't record last week. Um, but thank you, everybody, for clocking in this week. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Um, but we have a special guest. The boy Noah from Only Kings podcast. Noah Vargas. Noah Vargas. Um, so, the buddy, boy. How you been? Good to fucking see you guys. What's about up, baby? Time, man. We've been oh. trying to do this for it's months. About now. time. Oh, oh bro. We <laughs> when we, wait, so we were on your pod a couple months ago. Like three months? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, summer? Mm -hmm. That was funny. Oh, it was still cold, wasn't it? No, it was dead heat, dude. Oh, <laughs> summer, bro. Yeah, no, it was, it was a couple months ago, but... Uh, we were at no. We were on Noah's pod. If you haven't seen it, go go watch that one. That one's a good one. We were all over the fucking place. Only Kings. It was what, like two hours long. Yeah, give or take. it was a long one. Yeah, yeah give or take. And give it was a. Uh, um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Were we drunk? No. no well, we didn't drink for that one. We didn't drink for that one. No, we can. No. We could do a drunk one. Next. Yes, we can. Next yes, we'll yes, we can. Okay. Yes, let's do it. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say about Only Kings? Fucking forgot. Oh yeah, it's on Spotify. Yeah, we're on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Google Podcasts. And you kind of just stuff. talk about anything and everything on that. Yeah, thing, huh? you I, don't have like a, a certain. Yeah, because you guys have a great rapport with each other, so you can just r vibe and bounce and just kind of bring everything up. But for me, I can't like, I can't do like a solo podcast like that because it's mostly you, know? you mostly have guests on all the time. right? Always have guests. Yeah, yeah. I did one like, episode by myself, and I'm never doing that. Again. How was that? Not fun. It's fucking. Cr I, I couldn't not imagine. Fun. I couldn't no. imagine. I'm it's probably crazy because we've talked <laughs> about it like. There's some weeks where he might be gone, and I'm like, fuck, do you... <laughs> or, like, I'll be gone, I'm like, bro, he's like, I think I could do it alone. Not, not <laughs> yeah. No way. I was like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> no it way. Seems, it, it's tough. Like, Theo Vaughn does him alone all the time. Like There's only some, like, the best comedians. It, it takes talent. For it, oh, it takes... It, it takes a Theo Vaughn. It takes a Bill Burr. Tim Dillon. Uh, Tim yeah. Dillon, Joey <laughs> Diaz. You know, those yeah. are the guys that just sit there, and they, they're in their own head, and it's entertaining, though, mm -hmm. right? Anyone, I think a lot of people can just sit there and just... Spew shit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. And, and no, uh, uh, um, um, exactly, update. exactly. It's so I one hundred percent have guests, and it's it's a little bit of a selfish project for sure. There's people that I want to talk to, right? Whether oh, yeah. it's like my friends and we bullshit and get drunk, or it's like I've I've been able to talk to a couple politicians. I've talked to some musical uh, artists, like rappers, rock bands, uh, actresses, psychologists. Do you have like, like a that. a top like the a top five maybe that you've done? <laughs> No, not yet. Anyway, no, Don't. not yet. Because I try not to yeah, ponder on that too much. Yeah, I definitely like as I'm editing and as I'm doing like the promo stuff, I'll look through and be more critical of myself than I will the guests. Right? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, I think obviously it's like a dance. It's a two way. It's street, also but. it's a, it's it's different because we I mean we we get guests on here and there's also some guests where it's you get in and they're kind of like they're not very they're they're, they're like a little start, nervous kind of like. Not starstruck about us, but yeah, just like just the well, whole the camera. whole setup. Yeah, the yeah, whole setup yeah. is like a. Yeah. It's tough. You, you you don't understand it until you're sitting in front of the cameras. Mm -hmm. The lights are on, and you're like, "Oh shit, I'm in this right well, now." And then that's that's the uh, that's the ultimate job of the host, right? You got to yes. make that person comfortable. You got to make them exactly. feel like they're at home. And then it's it, like I said, you know, it's a dance, and you got to like, you can't just start if you if there's someone you want to talk to. And you want to get something out of them, or you want to really ask like the main question, whatever yes. that is. You can't start with that. Yeah, oh I no it's, way! It's a slow, yeah. slow burn, We've, slow cook into it. It's been tough for us. I think the first couple were kind of rusty, just like because with us, we're not interviewing anything. We're just like, and we're just. Yeah. It's like so us just having a conversation. Yeah, we're just having like a conversation. That's where the we're just key, bullshitting. Right yes. um, but when we have a guest on, it's more like, hey, like we want to know, like we want to introduce you to our our crowd, and like show them who you are as well mm -hmm. so it's and you guys have been fucking hustling hustling like, uh, hustling dude you guys are out doing live podcasts you've got events going on november 23rd like, november 23rd live <laughs> next live pod actually so friends it's gonna be a friendsgiving friendsgiving thank you for that plug bro. Yeah. yeah no you guys are doing great dude <laughs> Appreciate it's it, fucking man. motivating i tell you what man thanks bro we it's, it's so awesome Maybe i would i have would a say that it's easier it. it's easier what we do, I think, is easier than what you do because it's it's like a, something brand new every time. I, I feel like you're better at interviewing than I than. Thank you. Like I feel like that you you can, have you seen yourself get better as. Oh you, yeah, just like, like I don't being an interviewer. I wouldn't say I'm like sufficient at it yet, but there is a difference between like the first ten episodes and then something I did like, like we literally just did one last night. Right. Oh, really? oh yeah. Yeah, 
And um, God, the first like 10, 15, even like 20 of them are so bad. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> you shake off hey, but that. this is, hey, your studio is. It is, li- it's the shit. It is sexy. I'm in, I love I'm, it. I'm in a new one now. Really? Uh, it's a different one from the one you guys went to. Oh, yeah, nice. I changed spots, so we're in the process of rebuilding it. We're not um, enough fucking. I'd say it's like payday loans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I drive, we drive by that every single day. Leaving here, we go Fifth Street. Yep, Fifth. I see it every time. Yeah, I'm like, and you go and you're like, what the fuck? And it's like, it look, it's like the, like a man cave. It looks like like a fucking Joe Rogan. Yeah, setting. it's it's it looks awesome. it's badass. I I really like. You guys got to go watch it. At least go yeah. watch our episode over there. Um, but Noah's been pumping these. He these out. A, He's you you had a, a com- bunch of you had a good ones. On? Zach Abeda? Yeah, I've had a few of them on. I've had uh, Buck D. Later. I've had Zach Abeda on. He's a re- they're both real great dudes. Jared Ostrom, hilarious guy. And then next week I'm having uh, Chuck and Sam from awesome. because they film their podcast here too. Those oh, nice. are funny motherfuckers here? too. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. What about the that politician guy you had on? Was he governor or mayor? So he was running for governor. That was an interesting one because I only got an hour with that him. That was a last minute thing too. Huh? It was a last because we were gonna we were supposed to record that night, yes. right? Like, guys, and you're I like, guys, I can't do it. I got something <laughs> big. Yeah, and I got called that the day before, less than 24 hours. I got a call from the publicist, and he was like, "Hey, uh, what are you doing tomorrow at like 10:30 or something?" And I was like, "I don't know. I'm working." And he goes, yeah. "No, you're not. You're doing a podcast with this guy." And this, we got an hour. Can you do this? And I was like, Yeah, now I can. Damn. I just cleared my schedule, <clears throat> and that was an interesting one because I mean, I I found myself post COVID not Democratic, not Republican. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's all a fucking joke. That's what we think. Right? Facts. So <laughs> being able to sit down with the Republican guy, because he's very staunch Republican, like for better or worse, right down that red line. And it was yeah. interesting being able to pick his brain, and he has a lot of. Uh, a lot of history in the nuclear sector, too. Because he's oh, like nice. 28 years in the Air Force uh, working on nukes. He held the launch codes at one point. Oh, wow. So we had a conversation off camera about what's going on over with Russia and Ukraine. And er- I'll just say everything he told me is happening right now. Wow. Like, er- And it's scary to watch. Oh, yeah. It's you- fucking terrifying to watch. In my opinion, anyway. Oh, I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, were you nervous? No. Did you have good... What, like, so... Did you have to... As I much know, as I, I would, did you do some that. good like homework before it? Yeah, yeah. That's, oh that's for right. sure. Yeah, oh for sure. Like basically, well, obviously, I dove into everything that he stands for or stands for because they're politicians. I mean, how much do they really stand for? And then I, uh, well, right. Yeah. And then yeah. I looked into <laughs> like what are his contemporaries going for, and then what is the governor going for, right? And try to juxtapose all that. And then because my real curiosity was because here's here's what I don't like about Mexico politics, right? Oh, fuck. Like, 70% of New Mexico is rural land, right? It's small towns, villages, and a bunch of farmland, ranching land, shit like that, right? Yeah. It's everything from, like, your Hobbs, your Rio Doso, uh, Tucumcari, Las Vegas, all that shit, right? So even though the vast majority is that, the politics are governed by Santa Fe, Albuquerque, and Las Cruces, mm-hmm. hyper-liberal cities, right? So... The, for whatever your beliefs are, it's a fact that those three cities control the entire politics of, an, of a state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's scary. Is that how it, that's how it works for most states or no? Um, I would say... I don't know. Well, also, we it, it, really depends on, it depends on the state, man. <laughs> because you look at something like Texas, right? Texas is super Republican. They're known for being, you know, the rootin', tootin', cowboy shooting, you know. Hell yeah. Right? Those are the, those are the Republican states. But... If you look at the cities inside Texas, Texas is going to be blue in the next 10 years, which is interesting. interesting. You look at them like Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas. Nice. Dallas is turning blue quick. Dallas and Austin. We're moving to Texas, I think, huh? I love Texas, bro. Texas is still great, man. Dallas? <laughs> I love Dallas. Austin? We went to Dallas last year for our uh, birthday. Our birthday? Yeah. birthday trip, yeah. I don't even know what we even did. Got hammered. But you, I don't remember picturing like I could. You know how you go to a city and you kind of know where things are. No, I had no clue. Like where Denver, we were I know where shit is. Dire- directional. First of all, we our Airbnb. We booked it. It was in the in the gayborhood. The gayborhood. Yeah. I booked this sick Airbnb in, yeah. in the gay gayborhood. Like the the gay sector of Dallas. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> there know was gay the, clubs everywhere. Yeah, and we was, had to go out no of this area. Is gay, we had to get out of this area to go to like a regular club because everything yeah. else was gay clubs. <laughs> crazy. 
It was crazy, bro. <laughs> Have you ever been to Austin or Dallas? No, I haven't, unfortunately. And I, I've been trying to make my way out to Austin. That's where I want to move. Austin, bro. Austin. You, big I love Austin. Austin it's bro. getting expensive, but because I want to get into the film industry, write and direct film. And that's oh. going to be the next LA. That's awesome. I see the writing on the wall, and everyone else does too. And I've got a real good friend of mine. She actually works at as a strength coach over at the uh, Onnit Gym. And she just raves and raves and raves. That's in Austin? Yeah. This yeah. is the company that Joe Rogan yeah, owns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, Alpha Brain. Yeah, exactly. Shout out Alpha Brain. And, uh, Shout out. She'll tell Shout me Alpha like how, how much she loves it, how great her classes are going. And, and randomly, I'll get texts from her. She goes, oh, I saw Joe today. And I'm like, okay. Like The first time I got, I was like, okay, who the fuck Joe is Joe? Who? Who's yeah. Joe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Rogan and Aubrey Marcus. They came in and worked Damn. out today. And then like when Action Bronson was on the, on the show last year, like, oh, yeah, I met Action Bronson. He That's hung out with Joe. Like, pin, my mother. Bro. Fuck. It's gonna be a fucking mecca, dude. Especially oh, yeah. for comedy. Yeah, he's gonna build that new comedy club, which we, we should make a trip the out there ship. to just go see a, like a weekend of yep. shows. I'm down, bro. bro. That would be awesome. The mothership. Yeah, I'm I think so they're in gonna on get that. Theo out there. Heck yeah. Uh, I think Bert and Tom Segura are already out there. Or Bert's in LA still. Bert's in LA still. But he's going everywhere. But he's but he doesn't give a fuck. No, he's He'll crazy. I, I heard that, you know Bert Crash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a. Uh, I guess he likes flying private. Private jets. He's a pig. He's on PJ. He works for it. That he's motherfucker works hard. Rich he's the funny. He's the hardest working <laughs> guy in comedy. He's, he's fucking out of his mind. Well, I love that guy. Of course, some of your favorite guys. Uh, well, it's interesting to me looking at them like what's become like because stand up comedy and podcasting are now symbiotic, right? And they go if you notice like. Uh, whether it's celebrities, whether it's comedians, if they have a new like special out, they have a new book, you know, they'll be on the Joe Rogan Experience. They'll be on Flagrant. For like they'll a go on prom- promo. Yeah, this past weekend. They'll be on your mom's house, right? It's mm-hmm. all it's replacing the late night talk shows. And I think it's oh, fantastic. Yeah. I love it. So to, way better yeah, than late night. So to show. answer your question, I mean, if it's just authentic, I'll wa- I'll listen to it or I'll watch it. You know what I mean? Because okay. you'll find like a bunch of podcasts now that are more syndicated and they get weeded out real quick they have their audience they make their money and that's great mm-hmm. all more power to you because all more power to fucking Jimmy Kimmel and Fallon they've worked hard for where they're oh, yeah. at yeah but they're also idiots but yes but more than that they've sold out to the left I'm, yeah I'm just being it. yeah that's, that's the mean. problem yeah, yeah. you can be stupid on a mic but if you're authentic people will like you I agree oh, yeah. if you're pushing down your liberal agenda or even your right wing agenda uh-huh. you know what I mean the, I hate the fucking right wing too yeah. if you're pushing down any kind of agenda in a space where it should be entertaining or fun funny you know, funny yeah. or just you know, not necessarily. Not everything has to be political. People get enough politics every day on yes. from everything else. From everything else, they That's don't need it from their yeah. entertainment. Exactly. From their, they come to escape that. And yeah. what is hilarious to me is during the pandemic, which should have and it was for a bit the height of the media, right? The height of CNN, the height of MSNBC, Fox News, where we should be getting all the information from there, right? During the pandemic, uh, Rogan got consistently. More views in a week than CNN did. Oh, yeah. CNN finally oh, yeah. dipped below a million for a consistent week, which is bananas. Because people are like, "This is bananas. This it's, sucks. It's trash." People, yeah, I yeah. hate. I hate the fucking news. I don't. Watch I don't it. watch the news. I refuse to watch it. I don't yeah. give a fuck what's going on. Well, I got to a point I'm during, not during the lockdowns, like in the very beginning, where I just cut out my social media. Like, I, it was right when the George Floyd riots happened, and I was like, I recognize that sucks, and he shouldn't have died, right? And I don't think anybody can argue that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jesus, man, like, because yeah. the way, and now I digest it now, looking back, is like, George Floyd's one dude. He can only die one time. Mm-hmm. But that video gets replayed and shared mm-hmm. and retweeted, put on the news. And it gets used to, to push something else. He died 10 million times, as yeah. far as this country's concerned, Dang, right? Yeah, that's, and just, that's and true. getting that just downloaded into your brain. Mm-hmm. God, by the end of June, I was done. I deleted all my Facebook, my Instagram, Snapchat. I went dark. But then... The only reason I'm back on now is to do the podcast. I was just going to ask that. So like what, that's a, if we, if we, I would love to get rid of all social media if we, did, if I didn't have. We this. kind of like yeah. depend on it. We couldn't. Yeah. Have, we couldn't. <clears throat> like Instagram, like Twitter is different. We don't really pop on Twitter, but like if we have Instagram or YouTube, like we wouldn't be doing this. So I right, kinda like it's kind of like a necessary evil. Well, again, I talk. I was. I, I talked all this shit about fucking social media last night because it's so easy to. But you know, <laughs> you're it's talking a, shit on social yeah. media about <laughs> social media. <laughs> but when it's a uh, when it's a tool. You know, it can be a positive thing. Yeah, I exactly. do ninety percent of my scheduling through Instagram. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Unless it's somebody that I Us know too, yeah. personally, it's all Instagram. Mm-hmm. Thousand percent. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing when used properly, but when it's abused by people in power, we see what we see. Like we see the, the Facebook whistleblower. That's a the great censorship. example. Somebody who finally came out, and the big thing was that Facebook knew 
that our enemy countries, Iran, Russia, China, they were actively using those algorithms to manipulate the hearts and minds of Americans. We knew that. Well, they knew that. Zuckerberg knew that and did nothing about it. That was the first thing. Was he getting paid or what? Uh, no, it was, no, he was allowing it to happen. Ah. They knew it was happening. And then the second part was that they had actual data that showed the algorithm on Facebook, or not Facebook, on Instagram, that allowed the content that was being put out, whether you agree with it or not, around fitness. It was actively causing eating disorders in women between the ages of 13 and 25, 26. They had data to show that. It wasn't just like an assumption, like, oh, well, no shit, right? You see that, and you're like, oh, well, obviously that would cause eating disorders. But they had data. They had numbers behind Mm -hmm. it. Nothing about it. That's crazy. It's it's a, but, not, and they're allowed to do that. It's though, not meant to because they're that, pr- private businesses. Yeah. They, don't, they don't get money to, or they they don't get paid for fucking. What brought you into doing uh, Only Kings? Um, well, was it that? Was it at, that's what I was gonna ask you? Was it when COVID you started? Yeah, it? man. Like I got like I've always been a very introverted person, and COVID maxed me out on introvert. Like it maxed me out yeah. because I played so many video games, bro. I read so many comic books. I read. I watched so many movies. Big comic book. Guy. Yeah, big comic book. Yeah, <laughs> big comic book guy. But I can only do that so much. Right. I, I enjoy it as like a reward. Like I've done my work. I've, treat. I've gone to the gym. I've done all my things. Now I get to do this. Right. But getting that all at once, like I was a high schooler again. I was like, fuck. Like this is. I need to go out and create something. I need to do something. And because uh, I was in Texas for the beginning part of the pandemic, I come back to Albuquerque, and I got a job at a warehouse. I pop my earbud in, listen to Rogan, sweep, load trucks, whatever. And he did a really good episode with Post Malone. And if you post is, I like Post on. <coughs> he has really good interviews. He's very. Yeah, he's a he's, great guy. He's mm-hmm. smart. He's yes. pretty articulate. Like well, this one they were on mushrooms. Oh, it's nice. Absolutely. Both of them? <laughs> yeah, they're both on mushrooms. Jesus. It's hilarious. I and the first like hour is actually really good conversation about like his methods, was like performing, songwriting, yada yada. But the last like two and a half hours is just them bouncing off the walls, right? Oh, with stupid, sure, it's stupid insane. subject. But what's, yeah. what's cool about it is they're interested. They're genuinely invested in each other and they're invested in the conversation. So I was like, what the fuck do me and my friends do on a Friday night? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. What if I just threw a microphone into that conversation to see what happens? <laughs> and simultaneously, again, during the pandemic, people were losing their jobs. And uh, not a lot of money's going around. So what did every relatively attractive woman over the age of 18 do? Only fans. Only fans, <laughs> right? And you know what? All the, all, hey, more power to out. you. More shout power out. to you. No, out, I have I no, no shame, no fucking talking shame. shit. No, I'm just <laughs> Live your fucking life. I don't give a fuck. Advocate. But I was talking to a buddy of mine about starting a, uh, what if we did a podcast. And I was like, how funny would we call it Only Kings? Because every every chick is on OnlyFans. Yeah. And had a buddy of mine mock up the logo, and then fucking last night was episode 70, so here we are. Hell yeah, bro. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. I love, because people always, I have this on my, on my yeah. water, a lot of people at work always Yeah, like, mine too. They think it's just like a, like a, just like a spoof. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. I'm like, yeah. no, this is like my it, homie's yeah. show. <laughs> we're on. It's Same, so yeah, bro. It's, I it, love it, dude. Great name. Yeah, Awesome name. It's, uh, I appreciate that. You got, is this merch for yes, sale? Yes, it is. Yes, merch is for sale. We need some. Plug, Hit plug. me up on fucking Instagram we do, we do. for sale. We need some some merch. We got we got merch actually coming out very soon. It definitely <laughs> will be here for the live show, um, but we might have to, we might roll it out a little early so you guys could have some tees, jackets, to, to hoodies wear to, to wear show. to the live show. So, so like, what uh, what have you guys found was like a a um, how I put it like a un, unanticipated benefit of doing this show? Like you're going on, you're doing it for so long. It's like oh, well, I didn't expect this to happen, but I'm so glad it did. Have you ran into that yet? Um, there's a ton. Just like the uh, connections, bro. Just just connections we've gotten with people. Um, there's a lot of people out there who really fuck with our show, mm-hmm. and they they are like they're always watching. They come to the live shows. People um, that like we don't like we don't know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool people too. we don't know. It's it's awesome, bro. <clears throat> it's it's cool to like even like go out like on like go out for like to go drink one night. And you're out at the bar, and they're like, "Hey, you do the podcast, right?" Weird, and you're like, right? "Yeah, thanks, yeah, bro." Cool. Like, it's it's awesome to like interact with everybody and kind of like, oh, it's it's not just like these select people. Like a lot of people, are, it a lot of people are seeing it right now. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's our Instagram's really blowing up. Like, 
everything's kind of just rolling at this point. Uh, we got our partnership with Viva that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say you guys are fucking grinding, dude. Yeah, bro. It's, it's awesome, you guys. man. It, it's so much fun. So everything else that's just popping up is like, it's just been a blessing. And it's like, I just want to keep it going. Like the, nah, the, stopping. the, I think the, mentally for me, the goal or whatever, I guess, like would always be like getting paid to talk into a mic. Yeah. That's like the, the, the dream. Yeah. And it's there. Yeah. It's, it's there. It's there. Just keep pushing. Like, it's it's there. We just got to keep rolling keep with it. Keep chipping away. You'll, yeah. You always tell, tell, yeah. Me, tell me that. Yeah. I think, um, I don't know, we, we, I've said this a couple of times on here. Like, there's that tweet, like, oh, girls go to therapy, guys just start podcasts. <laughs> and I, th and I, I feel like an unexpected benefit is that it, like, makes me feel, like, good. It's yeah. like, even if we don't see each other for a weekend, we catch up, and I'm like, it's like, I feel like like charged right? up just ready like, for the rest of the week right like, after just, leaving you're just like oh okay that was yeah. good like it's like and we didn't we didn't do it we don't sit there and like talk about ourselves we just fucking bullshit with my butt with my best yeah, friend and like we're just talking into like it's not like therapy but it is yeah it's a mental exercise yeah it is and yeah. it helps me like i feel like it's helped me like uh like just be like quicker just in normal conversations i feel oh, like, yeah. I feel like well, it's, it's helped me the the art of conversation is a dying one actively dying I because agree. of our phones. Yeah, texting, right. Snapchatting, oh, yeah. Yes. or whatever. The 100%. Yeah. Yes, it's all about how many, how much thought can you get into less than 140 characters? And you would think that's a good thing because now you're forming real quick, witty sentences. But in reality, you're forming bullshit. Yeah, and absolute Everybody bullshit. has the, every, like, we've talked about this before, like, everybody shouldn't have the platform to just say whatever they want. Like, th we do, but, like, not... Not everybody needs to see everybody else's opinion on everything all the time. So I, I would agree with I'm you. Saying, as we're here yeah. doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with you guys are point. listening to us say whatever yeah, we want. Say whatever the fuck we want. But I think on the does other hand, and this is, yeah, it does make, it makes perfect sense. And this might be naive, but again, I, and this is definitely a product of doing the podcast so, for so long. Um, I still want to have faith, right? And now everything about the world proves me wrong, but I still want to have faith that there are people like you guys that do a show, they do it quite well, and people enjoy it. And you're not putting out anything stupid. You're not putting out anything hateful. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's genuine content, right? That's what we Appreciate try to you can yeah. You can argue the validity, right? Based on your background, based on your belief systems, based on what you find entertaining. You can argue that whether or not you're going to enjoy it. That's a person-by-person -person basis. But you're not putting out anything inherently bad. Yeah, right. But Agreed. again... I would like to believe that the average individual can look at a piece of content and go, okay, I probably shouldn't be watching this because this person is either clearly stupid, biased. talking out of their ass about things they don't understand, <laughs> they're biased and trying to push a narrative, or, you know, and again, the, the small subsect of people, because everyone thinks that everyone's racist now. And the <laughs> word racist, the word fascist, the word supremacist has lost all meaning. It's the new it, N-word, dude. Yeah, it has lost all meaning. Just kidding. Well, I did that out. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Don't edit shit out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the average individual, I still believe, can look at things and go, no, that's actually hateful. That's actually bad. And then in that process, the people who do have any kind of platform get weeded out. They don't really, you know what right. I mean? Like, it's, so, like, my favorite person to talk about in the subject is, like, Jordan Peterson, right? People call him a sexist, a racist, a homophobe. But if you have to listen to his stuff, he's not. He's one of the smartest people. He's in one the of world. the smartest people in the world. Now, yeah. I might be an idiot because I have no clue no, who that fucker no, is. No, really? Yeah. He's, oh, like, he's, he's, I'll link you some of his stuff. He's good, dude. He's now, good. granted, I've but lost. But now it's kind of like, now he's like definitely on one side. Yes, because he joined, side. because he has a show on the Daily Wire, which mm -hmm. I don't agree with. Because for the longest time, what made him cool was he was neutral. Mm -hmm. He went strictly from a psychology basis because that's where his background is, which was so nice. But even then, he still has a lot of great um, practices or great points of view that I follow. And that are helpful and are beneficial and are good ideas yes. and are meant for the optimal result of, of, I think, a human being. It also gets to a point where, like, some people, and it's it's not, like, authentic, it's not genuine, it's, like, they're creating, like, a character mm -hmm. that gets, like, the, that shock value that gets, like, that gets more views. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, who I don't, I don't disagree <laughs> with, a, I don't agree with all the shit that, he's, that he said. What did I tell you but, the other day? I said... You're like, you said the three things that everybody that doesn't like him No, but says. no, you were like, I was like, I don't think that's a guy that you should <laughs> no, fucking I was like, I've been watching some Andrew Tate shit, I was like, he's kind of the man, but I don't know. I, but it's also just like well, a, a here's, persona, it's a, and it works. It's, it's a character. No, yeah. it's a character. And but you can't just, like, 
He's a super intelligent dude. Right, this is what he does. He takes an, a very basic idea or a gender norm that makes sense, is generally acceptable to most people, right? Because not everyone agrees on everything. So what he does Nobody is... Nobody will ever agree exactly. on everything. So he takes a generally accepted idea and he just extrapolates it and blows it up to this 15th degree that is so preposterous. So that people are either like, that's crazy, or like, that's so crazy, but it, I agree with it. Exactly. It's like super polarized. Exactly. It's like Trump kind of too. Yeah, no, seriously. That's, and that's what got Trump elected, was he knew what gets clicks now, right? But back in the 80s and the 90s, he knew what got views, and he took that, he got a couple cash races, build the wall, drain the swamp, and it mm -hmm. got him elected because he knows how to work a crowd. Whitney Cummings, uh, they, were, they did a roast of uh, Donald Trump. You watch Flagrant with Andrew Schultz? Yeah. One of the best comedy specials, by the way, Andrew Schultz. Oh, um, oh it infamous? was so good. Infamous, yes. yeah, infamous that whole Michael Jackson good, bit Holy is... Shit. It was so good, dude. <laughs> it was insane. You, it's on YouTube. Super dicey. Yeah, that <laughs> was on YouTube after it's I on, fucking bought yeah, it. Yeah, you fucking bought it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's on YouTube. You go watch it. It's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> it's great. Um, they did a roast on, uh, on Trump and Whitney Cummings, like, they just ripped his ass, and he was just like he took. He was like a good sport about it. And then yeah. after, afterwards, Whitney was like he came up to her and was like, like that was good, great television. Good television. Like, that was awesome. And he, she's like, what? He's like, the dude's just only for like entertainment. Yeah, views. And television. <laughs> and he reviews. <laughs> you if you roast my ass, good. Yeah. I'm still on TV. Fucking yeah. TV. <laughs> so yeah, I guess yeah. I think it's all just about just being authentic and genuine at this. For us, I don't know, we're not, I feel like we're not, I think that's why people fuck with us and yes. with you because we're not trying to push anything. We're not trying to. Trying to uh, be anybody else but yeah. ourselves. And it's like, take a mental vacation. We say that all the time when we put, when we post our stuff, like, come take a mental vacation. We're not, you don't have to. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to be something, because you watch stuff and you could get like stressed or it's like, you could think, it should be like an escape from from the bullshit. Yeah, exactly. there's definitely a po couple podcast episodes that I'll listen to where it's like, okay, I'm taking this one in bits. Right, yeah. either it's so um, intellectually dense and it's so stressful that I need to get it all done in one thing. Is it's so interesting, like the one, the Rogan one with Yomi Park. Right, anyone who's listening to that, you need to check that out. Is she, she, the, the she escaped. Yeah, she escaped North Korea. That's oh, I heard shit. that one's crazy. It's insane. No, it's insane. And the idea that you can listen to that and then turn around and say anyone in America is oppressed is bananas <laughs> to me. That it's absolutely nuts. fucking bananas. Like, one of the examples she gives is, so every household in North Korea has to have this same perfect portrait of uh, Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il, whichever one is still alive. I don't know which one. And so they have it up on their wall. Jim Kong. If Jim you, Kong. Jim. If your house goes on fire, fuck the kids, fuck your wife, fuck the dog, if you have one. Uh, you have to save the portrait first because if they find out that you let the portrait burn, you get executed. Shut the fuck up. The portrait of Kim? Yeah. Damn. Jim, bro. Jim. Why is it Jim? <laughs> Jim Kong? Jim Kong, <laughs> bro. Yeah, so there's that's stuff crazy. like that where it's like, I listen to that, it's like a four hour episode in one sitting. Those I guess there's also that. just, there's just like, you can find whatever you want to find out there. You can go and find something that yes. agrees with you or like what. Whatever you're looking for. The one, yeah. the one I've been enjoying. It's super like it's the uh, it's the new fucking podcast we've been watching. Uh, they ask questions. Oh, are you garbage? Are you garbage? Have you? Uh -huh. Dude, you love it. You would love. It's so. It's these boys from New York. Super light, and they just ask stupid fucking. But they questions. have comedians on. They have like comics, up and coming comics. They're like just started blowing up this year, and they ask like really questions. It's like it is like an interview, but they go back into like. Like the history of like of the comics life, and then they ask, "What's like? What do we always say? Oh, like, did your grandma have like astroturf on her patio outside or something?" Huh. Like, yeah, are you or the like, what's what's the street you grew up on? Yeah, like, do you remember the street that you grew up on? Uh, yeah, it was Benton Avenue. Do you remember yours? Uh, Benavides. That was Pitt Street. Pitt Street. Yeah. Hell yeah. Or, uh, no, not Pitt Street. Yeah, but it's like. They, they, you, you find things out about your favorite comics that you like never, never. But it's knew like funny, yeah. And then they like mark it down. They're like, is they this like guy a, garbage or yeah. is he like classy? <laughs> at the, at the yeah, at the they, end. They, yeah, because it's like, does he do stuff that's like very gar like Burt Kreischer's garbage? Oh, for because, sure. Because because <laughs> Dylan's garbage. Yeah, because just like the shit that they've gone through, like through their life, it's like just it's so funny. Like, did you have like a like what was the closest store to your house? Yeah. Like grocery store. Like what which was your you grocery store? Uh, Smith's. Yeah. Smith's? Yeah. So Smith's so it would be like the Kroger's everywhere else or Mike whatever. Mine was the, the commissary on base. Oh, Because you have to pay tax. Oh, so go there. yeah. And then, I don't know, my parents haven't shopped there for a while. But then like Costco. Sam's. Yeah, Costco, Walmart. And just start moving up. Yeah. 
but it's just like it's stupid it is good. fucking well, question. Yeah. You gotta watch yeah, it. You'll you, you'll you, understand. You'll be life, like, are you and it's garbage? something. It's called Are You Garbage? But it's like it's some like and like comics we, too. They're, they're, like we said, I could just throw it on and just listen to it. Like I'll throw it on while I'm like cooking or something because it's just you don't really have to pay attention like mm-hmm. and sit there and like absorb light. it. It's super light. You kind of just like oh like what did he just say? And you uh-huh. go like. It's funny. They There's remind like, us. Well. They remind me of us too, because they do like live shows. That, like they do, they do stand up comedy too. But they'll like do a live show with both of them on there, and they'll just like rip. It's really interactive with the crowd. So yeah, so they're really cool too. What is your guys' mindset going into a live podcast? Because it's, I, it's I, I this. Would, yeah, I think about that. And I'm like, no, anxiety, I'm just gonna, anxiety, I'm gonna anxiety. not do that. It's, no, it no, is thank you. very. We're. I don't know. I'm I've stressed always, out right now about. I'm always one. very nervous. <laughs> right. Until I get on stage, and then it just, I black, it's like a fight, bro. You black out, <laughs> you is. black out, and you don't know what the fuck happened, but you know it, it went well. But you, it's like I said, it's like, you know, you have ever been in a fight, it's like you don't remember what really happened during the fight. It just, you were in a fight, and it was, and it's done. Uh-huh. That's exactly how it, like, it plays in my head, at least. As long as we're, it was usually when we're prepared enough, like the first couple, we weren't that prepared, but like now we kind of got like, the format, or we have like our games that we want to play, or we do kind of have pre, like planned topics to bring up. But it, like, the crowd dynamic is different. I was gonna say because you gotta entertain as yourself, but you gotta also bring the crowd in. Yeah, because no people Which don't want to just sit us, just watch us sit up there and talk to each other. So right. it's gotta be like it's gotta be interactive. Yeah. Right. So we have stuff. We have uh, we usually do like polls um, the day before, and we'll ask like, all right. Uh, who's Pimper Simp. Pimper Simp or who's more likely that's a good one that the, that the crowd likes is like who's more likely to to be the first one to die in a zombie apocalypse it's like Nico or Benito yeah scream for Benito scream for Nico <clears throat> you kind of get the crowd interaction and then you let them know whatever our poll is so it kind of we, we've kind of figured out like the what we do for our them, formula yeah. for it so but Bro, the weeks up until it, I'm like sitting there, like I think about it, and I'm like my oh, fucking stomach oh, hurts. Dude. It's, and it's I'm like, God it, damn it! it. Me out. Yeah, and it's not, it's not even. I think even doing stand up would be scarier. It's better because we're like we're, I'm up there with him. Yeah, like it's not just me. So I'm like, and we have such a good like flow. dynamic dynamic where we could just bounce. Like he could say something, and we could just bounce it and kind of just go off. Mm-hmm. See, it's funny you guys say that because I was talking my guests last night. There were two guys off of the uh, the slums of Harvard. Oh, and nice. they told me the same exact oh, Nick thing. Nick and uh, what's his name? So no, last night I had oh. Zach and uh, Toby, sure. the bass guitarist and then one of the lead guitarists. And what they were telling me, like, yeah, even on the shows that are shitty, we all have each other up there, so it's a little like safer. It's more comfortable. Oh we yeah. Can lose ourselves in the music rather than if it's just you and acoustic guitar and just a bucket yeah. and a stool. Get the <laughs> fuck off the stage! <laughs> 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 fuck that. Like, yeah, I, like I've, I've very much enjoyed going and seeing stand-up comedy here in the city. Oh, yeah. And they're, and they're getting so much better, bro. Yes. It's, there's it's, people it's, who it's are doing up. very like very well out there. So. And then on the that. opposite end of that, though, there are open mics that I've gone to. Yes. Oh, yeah. And there's one down at, uh, over here at Red Door, uh, hosted by Chuck Parker, actually. It's a great show. I love going. But there was one night that I went, and God bless this guy. Because I don't want to talk shit about anybody who goes up on a mic. Because that's like, you have more balls than I ever will ever go. I want to. Because yeah, I would love too. to, but like, <laughs> fuck me. I'm, I've, we've been saying we're going to do a stand-up. <laughs> like, <coughs> even like if it's five, five minutes, ten, five, ten just minutes, just kind of just throw, see, see what we do. I really want to do it. Me too. Yeah, I, I remember I went, it was late night. It was like maybe 9.30 when the last comedians go up, right? And the girl's dating, and, and, the, and the girl, oh god, the girl's dating at the time. She wants to go use the restroom, and this guy gets up and he starts saying his bit, and it's bad, it's bad. He's and had he's, laughing. he's had a bit too much to drink, and it goes from the couple lines he had planned to just yelling into the mic. Oh my god! And so I pull out my, I put my head down, I start texting him, don't come outside, oh, stay in the bathroom, god. please, just stay in the bathroom. It's so bad, please don't do this. Like it's it's like. Because bad, bad live music, like at a restaurant or at a bar, at least you can tune it out, listen to the instrumental. There's other things going on. And then you can, you know, right. But Stimulus. bad stand-up comedy is just a dude in the mic. Oh, man. dude. We, I'm not going to say where or who it was, but we were watching this guy, and he was, people weren't laughing, and he was getting mad. He was like, <laughs> he was like, oh, not funny? He's like, fuck me. And like, yeah, they just go to the next yeah, one. Like, trying to make yeah. it funny that, he was, that people weren't laughing. Yeah. And I was like, 
I was like, oh, this and is he bad. was like a guy. Like they said that he. he oh would, yeah, they were like, they were like, yeah, like, fucking Route sixty six. <laughs> He's been doing like, this for. I was like, I don't know. About I was that. like, I don't know. He might have been hammered. He, too, I think though. he yeah, was. I think he was hammered. But, but it was, you can't. He was like trying to double down on it, and I was like, you, can't, you got. And again, yeah. you, you can't do <laughs> you that. You can't do that. We left. You, you know, like, all the go. credit in the world to people who get up and do that. I agree. Because Jesus Christ, you have balls. But when it's bad, it's bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. It's not meant for everybody. Uh, we're gonna get into a little segment. Oh, yeah, let's do my so favorite. Se- it's my new favorite segment. It's Nico's notes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're gonna jump into that right now. Yeah, let's just jump into it. It's okay. one of my favorite. It's my favorite, bro. So we have a notes tab um, that we share. Okay. And anytime, like, either one of us <laughs> think of something, like, oh, we should talk about this on the pod, we just throw it in there. Nico will get drunk. And fucking just throw whatever he wants in <laughs> into the notes, and I'm like, "What is this?" So Nico's notes, my favorite segment that right, we, we came that. up with. Um, I, I don't even remember what I put in there. High tech dryer. <laughs> what is this about? Fuck. What else do you need? Fuck. I don't know. He's, <laughs> it's in the note. High tech dryer. You just throw your clothes. I in. think it's something. It's got to be something like. Fuck, I don't even remember. I think, I think it's like <laughs> and he, something nothing, that doesn't shrink your clothes. Maybe. Nothing, bro. But he just throws it Fuck. in there. But st- no, sometimes I do it when I'm like going to bed and I'll like, I'll like be almost asleep. And he's I'll going to bed in some... soggy clothes and he's like, man. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, you know what would be nice? I had a fucking Fuck. dryer that would just dry this in one second. <laughs> oh, dude. I see nothing I don't remember. you're doing Sober I don't October. Remember. I understand. Uh, girl yes. thinks sober she kills October. Wolf. Oh, actually... Mark, pull this up after you hear it. So oh, this girl, Jesus I think you might have heard of this. This girl got a, she got a hunting tag to go, she's, she's bear hunting or something. So you get a tag for bear hunting, but then you also have to get a tag if you, for wolves, because if you kill a wolf, like you have the tag for it, like you're allowed to do that. Yeah. So this chick goes on this hunt, this, this animal comes up to her and she shoots it and posts a, a picture of it on Instagram and people lit her ass up because... It was a husky dog. Oh my <laughs> god, no. Yeah. They're like, that's not a wolf, that's a husky. And she's like, well, it was like. Aggressive. Yeah. And she's like, they're like, no, well, that's somebody's dog. So I, I, I don't know if you can search for that, but it's a, you can see this thing. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Like, Do we need like a, like a warning label before we throw this out? No, no, no. I, I, no, no. We don't need a trigger warning. Um, if you guys can look that up, but. I get you could tell the difference between a wolf and a husky, right? I, well, yeah. your dog's what is your dog? He He's a looks, husky lab. He, he looks, looks like wolf. a coyote. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. <laughs> but uh, I thought that was funny. Yeah, and people were people fucked. were people were ripping her ass. <laughs> then I think that something somebody had her back, and I guess somebody just dumped a bunch of like husky wolf hybrids, like twelve of them in the woods or something, and then they just grew up in the woods. So she kind of got out of it. But the fact that she was just po- she posted it like proud on Instagram. Yeah, it's a little rough. <laughs> oh my god, so, uh, god. <laughs> that's a little rough. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Uh, so I know what that one is. I, I'm trying to think of high tech dryer. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh my, oh god. my god! She's ha- proud. That is a husky for yeah. sure. Like, oh my god! Like, why the fuck? Yeah. Oh, wolves yeah. look way different though. Wolves are I don't know if way... it comes up a little mean, you maybe. <laughs> She's like it was she was like it was gonna attack me. It was like, nice. It, was it, was, it yeah. sat when I said <laughs> sit down. <laughs> and that's not <laughs> dude, that's not ignorance. She was looking at that camera like, you know what I'm doing. Yeah, this like, is gonna piss you off, huh? Oh <laughs> my See, god. Maybe it was. Look, look. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god! Bro, she skinned it. Oh my she, god. She fucking she what is it called? I hate this. She took out all its shit. A trigger fucking warning. Oh my god. Well, if you weren't monetized by fucking YouTube, you're Fuck, definitely not gonna be after oh that. Oh my lord. Holy shit. Hi- we're kicked off. Next one. <laughs> High school popping thumb. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> we get it! it. We get it! <laughs> wow. Oh great. R.I.P. that dog. R.I.P. Not shout out that Not lady. Shout out Not you. shout out her. <laughs> oh my god! Just give anybody a fucking gun nowadays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever was taking pictures of her also also shout not out shout out that guy. Oh my right word! <laughs> what a fuck! <coughs> Shoot it! What if he's like with her husband and he's just like 
Well, they're like, we can't, Shoot it. we can't find any bears or elk. There's an animal. Like, we'll but get that one. But also, if it's going to attack me, I probably... Okay, that's yeah. one thing, right? That like, is one again, thing. After you Fuck. kill it, it's, it's obviously, it's laying there dead, and you take a good look at it. <laughs> How do you not say, oh... In another life, I don't this think is that fucking a... Fido that I play fetch with. I don't, th yeah, I don't think that's a down I skinned it. I don't yeah, think that's, that's a, a wolf. <laughs> okay, fuck. My bad. Let's not take a picture. Never tell anybody that that You happens. know what she did? She, it. It's probably a fucking rug in her house now. Yeah, oh, it's, it's mounted. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh, my it lord. It was little, too. There's no way they thought that was a wolf. Um, oh, dude, next. Wow. <laughs> fucking Nico's idiots. notes. Nico's notes. High school popping thumb guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is that? Did you ever have a guy that was just like, let me pop your thumbs? Like, yeah. Do it? No, there's a lot of people that would want to like do that. They, that was like, like a thing. Yeah, they're like, come here. Let me, let me fucking. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is that you or me? No, I think my fingers just pop. But like, he would get your arthritis. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Somebody mentioned it the what other night. What high school did y'all go to? Jesus Christ. I was just saying, pious. Y'all popping thumbs? Valley. Well, Where'd you go? Yeah. That oh, was I, I went to a military school, so I mean, that's Mimi? one thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But we They weren't allowed thumbs. to touch each other. Yeah, well, or, no, I'm just so, <laughs> we were getting to a real fucked up problem. I won't, I won't get into the details. Don't ask, but, don't uh, tell. Baby. This was the uh, a big issue. There is you start out you know, the age range is between 14 and 22 years old. It's a college, right? It's, like, it's a two year college down there, and you it's about a thousand people, and so you've got 14 to 15 year old high school girls who are gullible as fuck. Oh, and you fuck. have you know that is terrible. You have 20, 21, 22 year old athletes. College athletes there. With a bunch of angst. And with a bunch of dudes, a bunch of hormones, and nothing better to do. What you, I'm sure you can extrapolate from that the problems we had at that school. Oh, I bet that's so, horrible. Oh, it was bad. That's a whole other episode. Yeah, not jealous of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get Very away bad. from that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad. Very um, bad. All right, this is one of mine. All right, yeah, no more Nico's notes. Nico's notes, Benito's notes. <laughs> Windshield wiper speeds, bro. There's never a perfect, a a perfect yeah, fucking no, sweet spot. Not. It's either, <laughs> <laughs> that's level one? Where the fuck, what's level two? Or <laughs> this, and then 20 minutes later, yep. Like I'm okay with that one. The slow one? I'm okay with the slow one. No, but then it just comes up. What if it's raining like crazy? Then you turn it up to six, baby. Uh, the speed. worst is when you're too lazy to change out the windshield wiper blades. It's like, no, I got it. <laughs> I got new windshield wipers. One works perfect, and it's the passenger seat one. It your always, one. it's always the, the passenger the seat one. <laughs> it's always the passenger seat one. But yeah, I just got new windshield wipers. Um, it's probably why it was raining all last week. It did rain all last week. Also, I went to try to go to the balloon fiesta with Garrett and Serena on Thursday, and it got it got rained out, got canceled. We went in there. We paid fifteen dollars to go in, and it gets canceled. And everybody has to fucking leave. Don't you get a? You don't get a refund. Oh, you get a, a rain check. Really? Yeah, you could you could have went oh, again. Shit. Well, seventy percent of the whole balloon fiesta always gets canceled because of weather. Yeah, it's a fucking scam. Shout out balloon fiesta. Not I. I don't know. Did you go? No. You were supposed to go. But I didn't go. This is the first time I didn't see balloons at first, and I was kind of disappointed. Eighteen dollar turkey leg. Yeah. Jesus. Fourteen dollar no. funnel cake. No. So my question to you guys is: Pip or Simp the balloon fiesta? I can't say I've ever gone to the balloon fiesta. Ever had a good time. Oh, really? The balloon I've fiesta. Never had a good time. The balloon I, fiesta is thirty minutes. You could be there for thirty yeah. minutes. And it's over awesome, it. and then it's like, all right, let's get a you fucking turkey leg and get the fuck out of here. Like, oh, that's you, with you a said. Twister's burrito. He's like, oh, that's fuck you're right. Look, balloons, and then walk away. Yeah, <laughs> I just saved you fucking fifteen bucks. It's cr it's crazy to me that people do come here from all around the world. I had this table at the other night from New Zealand. We're for the balloon festival. They, they came... Uh, they got canceled. They, they flew all the way here. They <laughs> used to... They would come... They come every year. Because I've had the people from New Zealand. They would come um, and go into Champs when I worked at Champs. <coughs> and they'd ball out, buy all kinds of shit. But they were like super cool. Yeah. But they... Those guys come... I think they might have a balloon. Oh, really? Yeah. See, that's different. If you, have you been up in a balloon? No. That shit's sick. I don't know if I have been. And I think I have. But I don't remember if I have. So I'm going to say no, I have not. I'm going to say no, sick. you probably <laughs> have. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. They do a real. If you say you don't know if yeah. you've been on. Yeah, wait. I'm I glossed gonna, over that. Wait, I'm gonna I do say not no. Know that you've ascended to the high heavens. I'm gonna say you down. probably weren't on one. It was probably a fucking dream. It was like dream. sixth grade or something. <laughs> All right, I'm not saying no. I haven't either. You haven't. It was, yeah, because it was cool. they do a uh, this real small balloon rally up in Raton, and I got a buddy of mine who grew up there, and his family's part of like a balloon team. And long story short, went up. It was cool. Was it? It was sick. That's ten. Yeah, ah, uh, dude's a solid eight. So going in a balloon pimp, balloon fest, fiesta, it's it. facts. I'd say facts. 
My parents are over. They don't like going either. They're like, we, we went a couple times when you were little, and we don't go anymore. My dad goes, yeah, by the time I fucking pay for everything, I'd spend 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> he takes $12 Blake's burrito. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. He's <laughs> like, someone's going to give me free tickets? I might go. See, I think my parents used to get the hookup from somebody back in the day. My dad used to, uh, Creamland, Creamland Dairies. Oh. So he always had the hook. We had the Moo Crew. Ooh, what the, <laughs> the, the, the fucking... The Arabella. The, the hey, what's, big her, old, what's her name? Arabella. Arabella. Shout yeah. out Arabella. Shout out Arabella. Shout out Arabella. The She's big, the best the one. Balloon? The big cow balloon? Yeah. She's the best one. I, I kind of want to get a, a fucking tad of it. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be fire. Yeah. Maybe one day. We'll see. Um, <laughs> next one. Bro, have you seen uh, There's Monkeys? I don't know where the fuck it's at. Oh, Smoking Cigs? That, no. that's a There's a, there's a monkey that I smokes wa- cigs. I wanna, why don't you guys yeah. pull that one pull up? Pull that one up while I talk about this. <laughs> but there are monkeys domesticating dogs. They're going into the town, stealing these dogs, like puppies, taking them with them, and they're like, so they... And making them, and riding them? No, they're like, they have them, <laughs> they, they like make them family. And then, so the dogs like bark if anybody like comes around where they're at, so they like know, so they could sleep peacefully, whatever. Damn. But they're domesticating dogs. They have like a bunch of fucking dogs, and all these like small monkeys are... Do you think that the monkeys can communicate with dogs more than we can communicate with dogs? They might. Dogs? I think so. Who, are monkeys closer to dogs or, than us? If dogs could understand English, they could understand monkey, I'm guessing, dude. It's, it's right. not that they understand English. But the monkeys They're, don't they, use words. They hear a sound and they know what the yeah. like action the, needs the, to be with yeah, the sound. Yeah, exactly. And like with like the pitch of it, like if it's a yeah. mean one or like a... Or even if you say like, yes, but it's loud... Yeah. They'll take it as no just because the pitch. Yes. Yeah. But monkeys don't say words though. Again, it's all the pi- it's it's yeah. all an associated sound with an action. Interesting. That they expect. Uh but that's there is, scary. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a smoking <laughs> chimp, bro. They're saying this this chimp smokes a pack, smokes a pack a day, <laughs> bro. He knows how to light he knows how to light him oh, himself. Azalea, who's Korean name. Can you put us picture in picture, please? He knows how to light him himself. It's cr- and then he also knows how to smoke them and light them from, from the other from one. the other cigarettes. <laughs> the, oh my! Wait, who's, who's also who's <laughs> letting these fucking monkeys just who's, smoke cigs? Who's buying the pack of cigs for him? <laughs> hey, he's stressed out. Just let him live his life. Yeah. He's stressed the fuck out. Dude, that monkey is sick, bro. Imagine you just show up and why is that mom? Why is that monkey smoking cigs? <laughs> he's rip- Yeah, that's not like, okay. He's ripping that cig. Azalea, it sounds like it's a chick too. Yeah. It's probably got uh, issues at home. Um, yeah, that one is crazy. And then, uh, do you know what soaking is? Do you know what soaking is? Is it a s- sexual thing? Yeah. I don't want to know. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I'm, 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 I'm going to go ear on this. Tell them what it is. Do you, take a wild guess. Soaking? Soaking. It's per- like soaking. Predom- predominantly in like the Utah area. Is it where you soak your hands so much that they turn into little poons? No. That's a good guess. And then you, so does that have to do with Mormons? Yeah. Oh, good guess. Um, well, because the Mormons are weird. They got like 15 wives. Uh, really? Yeah. In the Mormon religion, you can have multiple wives. Right? Am I wrong with that? Yeah, no, I that could be. Am I right? No, the that, people in the back? Also, we, we don't, don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly certain in the Mormon religion, you can have multiple but, wives. But uh, agree. soaking, they, they go to bang. So they can't have sex, like premarital sex, like these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they just. Is what they call so they just put it in and just soak. Are they sit there? So they they with it in there. They fuck with one. Well, one. They don't fuck. That's fucking. There's and it, so no, they there's, fuck. They not there's fuck. Other, they there's, fuck. So there's other things where they're like, yeah. There's like. I hate this. There's stuff where they talk about like, yeah. Uh, paid my roommate to push my fucking bed. Wait, so, like, so, so I'm not as doing long as it. You don't move. So I'm not doing the humping. That the is Lord horrible. Is. What? Well, they're going to hell. It's a way. thing, bro. <sighs> bro, at that point, <laughs> no. Like, listen. If we're how many loopholes are you jumping through? No, if we're oh, the same God, he loves you unconditionally. You ask for forgiveness. You move on with your fucking life, <laughs> and you try to be better. Is that not what the religion is? But you I ask agree. forgiveness, and you move. Just, just, just do the thing. But if they're too well. Well. That's way too much. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> you're already in, bro. Yeah, send it. You're already, you're you're already right in. Just send it. If you're soaking, yeah, you're not getting around this one. That's yeah. stupid. That is certifiably <laughs> dumb. 
That's simp. simp. That is that is not okay. Not shout out those guys. It is certifiably stupid. Good call on the Mormon because of the YouTube. Well, that's idiot. like yeah. borderline Scientology stupid. <laughs> like, what the fuck are we talking about here? Scientology is stupid. All right, have you got <laughs> shout out Tom Cruise? Shout out. Not shout out Tom Cruise. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's a fucking weirdo, man. <laughs> and he it, is. He's only five. All right. Five, you know how NFTs were huge. Yes. NFTs have been a big thing. Like, everybody's talking about them. Do you, have you guys seen, like, how, like, people... Who bought them? Who bought them. They're, like, not worth shit anymore. Oh, yeah. It was a fucking... It was a scam. Logan Paul bought a $690,000 NFT. It's worth $10 today. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. 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 Yeah. Yes. more money? Yes. Yes. Hey, he, he's a hard worker. He's built a brand. He's a WWE thing. Whatever. Fine. But you know what? If the one thing you can lose on, I'll, I'll, I'll bask in that glory. Yes. Fuck you, dude. That's ridiculous. <laughs> $690,000 is there were $10. It was a what? picture on a computer. Well, the best thing I heard about that was mean, NFTs, and we're seeing this now with crypto and fucking Bitcoin, right? It's, it, there's a lot of money there where there was, but it's a game of hot potato. You want to pass the potato. You don't want to be the last one holding it, oh, right? Right. So that's what happened. Uh -huh. And you know what, dude? Like, I like fuck that guy. You know, whatever. <laughs> he can lose money. But I feel bad for the people that thought, like, this is going to be my fucking Like, the yeah. people that aren't rich. You know what I mean? And they got yeah. fucked over on it. I think that shit, yeah, there, it's, there was no, <coughs> like, there was no, it was like an untapped thing. It was all just, like, hype, like hyped up. Pyramid scheme. I don't know if it was a pyramid scheme, but it was kind of just like it kind of it was, was based around hype. Yeah, it was a pyramid scheme in the idea that it took a lot of other people buying in to make the people at the top get more. You exactly. didn't want to be the person at the bottom. That guy you wanted to top. add more people to your blockchain. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it sounds good. Doesn't to matter me. anymore. Also, but you should don't know. build also, it up. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck NFTs. I'm glad I never bought one. Yeah, NFTs. Simp. You wanted to make one for us. I made one for us. <laughs> 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 All right, so if you haven't, go to uh, AprilFools.com yeah, April slash NFT to purchase it. Yeah, check out $5 click, click each. Tree. It's starting at $5. Join the movement. Join the movement. <laughs> um, okay, last question of the day. When was the high five invented? Ooh. I feel Do like you know the answer to this? I know the answer. I feel like that was something that got invented by accident. Or by athletes. By accident, like like they acted. Like, I don't know. They accidentally did something, and they're like, Man, "That's a cool sound." Yeah, am I right? But what? So let's break it down. What, what, what is, are is you a thinking? high five? What is a high five? Like, and why do you do that? Like, good job. Like, hell yeah, like, good shit. One more time. And what about that five. one? Low five. Low five. And then what is that one? Adapt. I have no idea. I gotta be honest. I mean, wild guess. I'm gonna say nineteen. Let's. Hey, I'll give you. 1850 to 1900s. Okay. I think it was in the. I think it was in the 1900s, and I think 19, so 1920s. Peaky Blinders. I don't. I didn't see them high five once <laughs> in that show. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it's past 1920, <coughs> 1930s. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know what's happening in the 40s. I don't really know what was happening up until about 1960. I'm gonna say when drugs, LSD. Pink Floyd, Woodstock. I'm Charles say, Manson. I'm yeah. going to say 1960. 1977. Fuck. What? Damn, yeah. that's pretty recent, that's right? My dad graduated in 78. I got to ask him, were you high-fiving uh, right? back in the day? So, like, why, so what, was, what did it say? Like, why so, did it come up? Uh, the first ever high-five appeared um, in, 19, in 1977 during a baseball yeah, game sports. between the Dodgers and the Astros after a home run. Dodgers outfielder Dusty Baker. I don't know if you guys know Dusty Baker. He's a... He's actually the coach for the Astros now. Okay. Um, high five his teammate. He said, hey, just trust me, dude. Smack, yes, sir. smack my head. Hey, this is gonna be slap hands. Slap hands. Slap hands. This is, slap gonna, hands. This is gonna be huge. <laughs> slap hands. Yes. Also, baseball <laughs> invented the ass high five too. Oh, I'm a big ass high fiver. Are you? Yeah. Or is that a low five? Ass five. Ass five. I don't know. Interesting. But yeah. Crazy. 1977. Like, what were they doing till then? I was kind of close. Low fives? I don't know. A good job. Ass fives? Yeah, they were working their ass off. An attaboy. That's what she got. <laughs> good shit, brother. <laughs> Interesting. Hold on. I, I got to see the low fives. Because every now, time right? I see like a little baby, I go like... I, High like, five or nux. nux. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and the mom's like, give them nux. When was the low five invented? 1920s. So they oh, were only low fiving. They're doing that? Yeah. Only no low pound. fives. Yeah, no, yeah, you no, want, you no, want to. I wanted to pound it. 
Interesting. Only low fives. Interesting. I don't know. That's it. Yeah, that's weird. Weird, right? It's kind of like when did the like bad words get invented? Because they say the f word in Game of Thrones, even though that's not real. But like, and like they were like, look that up. When was the when did the f word get invented? Fuck. Was it used always used as like a like a bad word, or was it used for like uh, doing fuck sex? Fuck is an obscene English language word. It refers to the act of sexual intercourse, but is also commonly used as an intensifier or a con- what is that? Disdain. Disdain? No. 1475. C-E. I don't know what that means. Is that before Christ? No, that's Christ. <laughs> B-C. <laughs> C-E before Christ. <laughs> before COVID. Before pre-COVID. Yeah. Did we start this show during COVID or after? We started it during COVID. Well, right? right 2021. The beginning January, of 2021. January so 2021. It was still kind of in the thick yeah, of it, it was right? still Yeah, it was still in the thick of it. When did you start Only Kings? Um, yeah, October of 2020. Oh, yeah, because Yeah, because I did, I did the fantasy football podcast. Yeah, like, I remember sep- talking like about September. That. Born Losers? Yeah, September 2020. 2020. Oh. And then football ended, so January 2021 we started. No I, and shit. we were talking like, what's like one of the things you want to do when the lockdown's over? So yeah. Like, oh, dang, that's crazy. Thing. And that's, a, that's one of the positive of the pandemic happening is we're entering this renaissance of entertainment here in Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. And so many bands, artists... Um, with artists isn't like musicians or just actual artists like painting, fucking pottery, everything, clothing, right? clothing, yeah. podcasters. There's Graphic so design. much shit going on in this city now, and I hope they keep doing that art walk over on. Oh on yeah, bro, it, it's do- it's so good it's for great. everybody, bro. Everybody, yeah, it's insane how awesome it is. We gotta stick with it, dude. I love this. I love the place that we live. We gotta eventually. Yeah. We gotta. I think we want to <laughs> once we pop off. We're gonna have studios everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta stick with it here. But yes. that's today's episode. Appreciate you, brother. Noah, appreciate you, bro. It's a fucking pleasure to be here. This we'll is do- awesome. High five. High, High five. five. Yes. High <laughs> fives all around. <laughs> oh, sorry, brother. Uh, um, yeah, we'll run it back soon, bro. Yeah, appreciate that, you coming that's back. That's today's episode. Everyone, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Go follow the boy, Noah. Only Kings, Only Kings Instagram, um, his YouTube channel. Go watch our show that we had with him. Um, it was a good one. It was like two hours. If you guys need more of us, yeah. go for it. <laughs> um, also, shout out Quit Peasy Funko. Um, he hooks your boys up with the n- notorious B.I.G. Funko. We, we gained a new, uh, a new homie for the Gained a new for homie set. for the <clears throat> set. So uh, go see the boy. Um, he does shows every week, and he's selling like a bunch of really cool Funkos for like good prices. So um, Live pod. Live uh, pod. November 23rd, Friendsgiving. So the night before Thanksgiving, it'll be Wednesday. Black Wednesday. Is that what it is? I don't know. I think they call it Blackout Wednesday. I don't think we can call it <laughs> Black Wednesday anymore, dude. <laughs> hey. <coughs> no, but Black Wednesday, uh, yeah. 1123. Blackout Wednesday, 1123. New Friends merch giving. New merch is coming out soon. Um, appreciate you guys for all the love and support again. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. That's the show. Play the music. Fuck yeah, boys. <laughs>